Hi, this is the overview for week one in the three weeks the Youth Sunday School will be doing Ezekiel. This is an incredible book, definitely worth reading through at least once a year. Ezekiel's ministry is parallel to Daniel's in that God was doing something in the present and then for the future. In Daniel, God was preparing the nations for the return of Israel to its land and preparing the world for the Millennial Kingdom. In Ezekiel, God is preparing the people for the return to the land and for the Millennial Kingdom. Ezekiel is actually a contemporary of Daniel. Daniel was taken in the first of three deportations. About 11 years later, Ezekiel was taken in the second deportation to Babylon. By the time Ezekiel and the 12,000 others arrive, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are already important and influential men in the Babylonian government. I would suggest doing Ezekiel in the following sections. Week 1, basically chapters 1 through 11, that's Ezekiel's commission, the four living creatures, the glory of the Lord leaving Jerusalem. Week 2, the weird prophet, that would be a summary of his glorious life as a major prophet. Week 3 would be kind of chapters 36 through 48, the restoration of Israel in the Millennial Temple. So for week 1, of Ezekiel's commissioning, the important points for me are the revealing of the four living creatures, the call to be a witness or watchman, and the vision of the glory of the Lord leaving Jerusalem. First, the four living creatures are introduced here and appear again at the end of Ezekiel and then in the book of Revelation. While we can't explain who and what these angelic beings are and do, they're very important in the book of Revelation. Can you imagine the loss of understanding the Bible and prophecy and God himself if you don't take these visions in Ezekiel and in Revelation as having a literal fulfillment and reality. Second, the commission of Ezekiel is very strong and pointed. This commission is renewed again in chapter 33 after the fall of Jerusalem and before the prophecy of the resurrection of Israel in the millennium. Ezekiel's charge is very personal and important. Without putting a lot of guilt on the students, this charge needs to be personalized to us too. We have the Great Commission, and although we don't feel any twinge of guilt for not carrying that out, Ezekiel's commission shows the result of keeping quiet. We know of God's grace, and that might be the reason we don't feel the Lord would be upset with us if we don't warn people. This would be a good point for discussion. Along with this, there is a price to pay for being a prophet and being a witness. Finally, the vision of the glory of the Lord leaving Jerusalem is amazingly powerful. It took a long time for God to take this step. God had shown so much grace and sent so many prophets. This progressive, gradual leaving shows God's great patience. His patience with us and with the lost is pretty amazing. At the end of Ezekiel, God in his glory will return to Israel to Jerusalem, and to the temple. Now, this hasn't happened yet, but it will, and we who love him will see it. In the meantime, the church has been chosen and given the authority to reach out to the lost worldwide to make disciples who make disciples. Maranatha.